What's going on everyone? It is Brad or Demon Asylum here. I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. Yesterday, as most of you probably saw, I uploaded a brand new glitch. It was the ammo stack duplication glitch. After uploading that, many of you let me know something that I already sort of assumed, which is that that glitch will work with any stack of items. So if we're talking about resources such as copper or wood, if we're talking about miscellaneous items like bobby pins or chems such as stim packs or stealth boys, all of that stuff that is in a stack and that falls as a stack when you drop it on the ground can be duplicated all the same as the ammo stacks I did in yesterday's video. Now, aside from people pointing that out to me, there was also a few people who were having issues with the dog meat duplication glitch, which has been an ongoing problem for people since the glitch came out because they can't get the timing down. And there's also some people who clearly just didn't pay attention to the whole video or maybe just didn't understand it. Maybe I didn't explain it well enough for everybody. Uh, so I wanted to do a live commentary demonstration here showing you guys one that you can do it with things other than ammo stacks and two giving you a better example hopefully through the live commentary demonstration of exactly how to do both the dog meat duplication glitch as well as the added things that you need to do in order to double or duplicate the stacks so the first thing you want to do of course is have dog meat as your companion you're going to want to go somewhere where you feel comfortable doing the dog meat duplication glitch that for me is here in sanctuary on these platforms where houses used to be when you come into sanctuary there's a couple of them that you can destroy so you're going to want to have dog meat go to a spot right in front of you now basically I'm going to set him up right here as you can see he's straight ahead of me you're going to want to have him just sort of like a few feet away and then you're going to want to drop the item on the ground that you want to duplicate for me that's going to be some stim packs as you see we have a couple stacks here Th this doesn't make a difference I'm sure there's quite a few of you who have this with certain items you have stacked and this is also something that will happen to you if you duplicate these items enough you'll have different stacks of them let me give you a quick example of that here I think because I duplicated my alien blaster rounds, for instance, as you can see, there's multiple stacks, but it doesn't matter. You can duplicate any of these stacks that you want and makes no difference. They will all work the same. Of course, I'm going to pick this one up because we're going to want to duplicate the larger stack here. Now, what you're going to want to do again, because dog meat decided to move is put him dead ahead of you and the item that you want to duplicate. Now, don't have him be too far away because that will make it so he runs towards the item. You want to have him just at a point where he will walk towards the item. And then once he stops walking towards it, you want to wait a second, if not even that much, and then pick the item up right after that. So then if you do it correctly, he will drop only one of the item. A lot of people in the comments were like, oh, dog meat's only dropping one of the ammo. He's not dropping the whole stack like you originally start with. He's not supposed to drop the whole stack that you start with. Those are the people that either didn't understand or didn't watch the rest of the video. This is only the first part of the glitch. Now, as you can see here, we have our original stack of ammo, and then we had the one stim pack that dog meat dropped, which if you can tell, that only was one before. Now, it glitches to say that it's 226, just like your original stack. However, if you pick it up, it won't actually be 226. It will only be one. So what you want to do now to make it stick to 226 is you're going to want to go into the menu here where you can quick save, save, load, quit, all that sort of stuff. You're going to want to choose to manually quick save. Once you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and quit to the main menu. Now, I did have some people telling me you don't have to, you know, quit to the main menu. You can directly load your quick save. I personally tried to do that with ammo at least, and it did not work. I recommend just quitting to the main menu and doing the glitch all the way through. Uh, you may be able to save time if you don't go to the main menu, but it's better to be safe than sorry in my opinion. I'd rather, you know, wait a little bit of time with loading screens and only have to do the glitch once than to not bother with the loading screens and have to do the glitch multiple times so now that we're at the loading screen though we're going to obviously go and just hit continue because that'll load up your most recent quick save and i might just do a quick cut here for the commentary because this loading screen might end up taking a bit of time so i will see you guys again in just a second all right guys so i am back i did actually just try to do this second part of the live commentary coming out of the loading screen but i messed up so i'm coming back here and doing it again for you all uh, basically we have both of the stacks here as you can see both of these same two stacks are here from before we went into the loading screen and loaded up the quick save we just made and now you'll notice that if you pick both of these stacks up 
you will see that we do in fact have double the amount of stim packs that we started with. So there you go guys, a live commentary demonstration of how to do the glitch from yesterday's video. Hopefully having the gameplay synced up with my commentary while doing the glitch helps out anybody who was having trouble following along with the one I showed yesterday. That's a big reason why I'm doing this video today showing the same exact glitch. Also because I of course want to confirm to you that you can do it with more than just ammo stacks. As I said, you can do it with things such as stim packs like I showed in this video. You can do it with bobby pins. You can do it with resources like wooden copper. Anything that you can drop onto the ground that is in a stack, you can duplicate using this glitch and essentially double as many times as you you want. However, there are quite a few people since yesterday's video telling me that once you get around the 60,000 mark for any stack you have, your game will crash. So while I think the 60,000 is a bit overkill in the first place, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and stay away from that amount because of course you're going to want to play it safe. Nobody wants to have their game crashing, especially because of a glitch. So that's going to be about it though, guys. I do hope you all have enjoyed. If you have any questions still, just go ahead and post a comment and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can and help in any way that I can. And if you guys have enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone and peace out.